What's going on? How y'all doing this morning? My first video today is going to be about Minister Louis Farrakhan, and he made a very potent and on point speech about Gail King, Oprah, etc. Uh, as he was uh, speaking about Kobe Bryant, and he kept it very classy, very dignified, and to the point. He simply is saying that he can respect Gail and Oprah, etc. He said, however, you have to respect families, you have to respect loss, and what's presented. See, the thing is this. You have to remember the life that was lost, first and foremost, and you have to add, go through what was there. To do sensationalism journalism at a time of loss only makes you look like a tabloid father. It looks like you, you know, you're supposed to be with a uh, network that looks like you kowtowing to TMZ levels, like you're tabloid TV, like you're running to the Inquirer, the Star Magazine, or some trashy tabloid. And your credibility looks very suspect. Mr. Farrakhan outlined a way also to snoop, to say, yo, you know, this is how you address it and be respectful. But at the same time, of you have every right there is nothing, and we're going biblical here, to not, to, there's nothing wrong with displeasure and anger. As long as you're not, you know, there's all ways of doing it. But you have, you have every right to show frustration to when a life is lost beyond, you know, to, to, to put it into perspective. And that reflection needs to be stated and said. Um, you know, it's 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 um, one of those things that you can't deny. And Minister Louis Farrakhan outlined it in a way that, first of all, let's be realistic. That Hollywood plantation, there's no way in the world that the CBS brass or Hollywood brass would put Gail King or Oprah or somebody like that directly with Minister Farrakhan because... Uh, regardless of where some people stand with him or what have you, they're never going to let a black mind that speaks his mind shine like that on network TV. Let's just keep that 100 and to offer perspectives and so on and so forth. So you have to understand your audience and you also have to show contrition, respect, dignity, and understand what's at work and what's at stake. And a lot of that is missed in so-called journalism. And that's why I have exception. And again, I'm not, I am never going to apologize. And I had no problem with Snoop said off the cuff and off the first because he was a friend of Kobe's and he also was speaking from the heart and he didn't say anything wrong. No one's coming after Gail King or Oprah or any of that or Jada Pinkett Smith or anybody else that's defending their insensitive nature of the loss of of Kobe Bryant, and I'm just using Kobe example, to try to assassinate character in a time where, you know, you have to use tact. So, anyway, with respect to Minister Louis Farrakhan for putting it directly and addressing Gail King. And we're not going to hear the end of this because we know there's a long list of people that are going to use anything to dig, to dig, to continue to assassinate a black male of a certain level as they do black males that are known and unknown. That's just how it works in America. That's my thoughts and takes about Mr. Louis Farrakhan putting Gail King in check. Give me your thoughts and takes. Hit that like, subscribe, and the bell rings in the video. I'm out.